If you had a disease or condition that caused you to visit the emergency room five or six times a year, what would it mean to you to find a treatment that all but eliminated the need for those unexpected hospital stays? Well, for 15 congestive heart failure patients who participated in Centura Health at Home's pilot telehealth study, the experience was life-changing. This program is very easy to use. It helps me with my keeping up with my medicines and diet, and it's, I'd recommend it to anyone. Congestive heart failure results in more than 700,000 hospital visits among our senior population every year making it a costly condition for health care and insurance providers to manage and causing much anxiety for those living with the condition. However, with close monitoring, congestive heart failure patients can maintain a high level of wellness. Centura Health at Home conducted a pilot study using ATI telehealth video stations to help patients stay compliant with their treatment program. The study yielded some amazing results. With telehealth, we're able to teach the patients how to become more independent with their diagnosis, such as congestive heart failure, through more frequent visits. They're educated on the signs and symptoms of worsening heart failure that could warrant a medication change, and more serious situations that could warrant a visit to the emergency room or calling 911. The program helps us monitor the patient more closely, looking for a weight gain of two to three pounds with some mild shortness of breath and intervening before hospitalization is necessary. For the pilot study, 15 high-risk congestive heart failure patients were selected to test the video telehealth stations. The stations provide clinical assessments like blood pressure checks, pulse oximetry to measure blood oxygen levels, and weight monitoring, all made possible by a live video link for interaction between the nurse and patient. At this point, I'd like to get your blood pressure. Do you have the cuff on? I'm going to start it up. You'll feel it squeezing your arm. And that will squeeze you in just a moment, Mary. Okay. Oh, that's better. 160 over 80. Let's have you press the blue button. I will. And I will get that measurement. Alrighty. And now let's switch to the pulse oximeter. And let me know when you start getting some numbers that show up on your oximetry. There's 90 over 81. Okay, 92, 93, we're going right to fail. The 94% looks good. I'm going to save that into the system. And I'd like to listen to your heart and lungs next, Mary. Can I put you on speakerphone for that? Yes. Okay. You can place the stethoscope over your heart and I'll listen to your heart first. Yes. Hi, Anna. How are you doing, dear? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> so I think you're doing fine. She, she knows what she's doing. to listen to your lungs. Okay, let's start in the front with position number one. Upper right. 
Let's listen to the left lower at number five. And the right lower at number six. That sounds very good. You're all clear. Thank you, Emma. To helping Mary, I learned also how to kind of look out for myself too. And uh, the uh, the nurses or uh, whoever they were coming through the uh, video, uh, they were very helpful to both of us. Yeah. They very didn't nice. give us a rush job. They explained things to us, you know. And when I didn't have the uh, the blood pressure position right. I mean, she just showed me how to do that through the machine. It's very educational. Not only did seniors like Mary enjoy using the equipment, the pilot project achieved amazing results. Patients in the study reduced their hospital admissions by 90% with a 100% reduction in ER visits. Patients also saw a 95% reduction in hospital charges and an overall reduction in health care charges of 73%. And in a recent physician survey, 100% of the physicians surveyed said they saw some improvement in their patients' health, with one-third of them saying they saw significant improvement. Occurrences of chronic illness will continue to climb as the number of seniors increase. Congestive heart failure is but one of many chronic illnesses that can plague people with debilitating health. Telehealth provides a model of care that helps people stay at their optimum wellness, enhances their quality of life, mitigates costly emergency and acute care visits, and allows them to stay in the most preferred place of all, their own home.